They have practiced bhakti yoga and then they have received the service of Krishna and Mahaprabhu. How from beginning of bhakti they accepted bhakti yoga and how gracefully of Nishtha, Ruchi, Asakti and Arati came. This is more important for You know that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, Krishna taking the beauty and intrinsic mode of Radhika, he came. But Sridharus Goswami established his Swab his means in a most hard feelings. He established. See, Prabhupada Goswami was not there. Perhaps we could not have known who was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But in you know also that Jiva Goswami has served to the Rupa Goswami. All the collections of the books publications which we are now seeing, see, it is due to to the Jīkūṣṭhā. He collected all literatures so, and he has established 
ये मनव विलासा और सिलेरू पुष्टा अब पब्लिशिंग हिज बुक्स हाउ पब्लिशिंग एट दैट टाइम इट वॉज वेरी हॉट बाई राइटिंग विद आउट ऑल दिस थिंग्स विद ऑल बुक्स विथ हिज पेन एंड ऑल्सो हि प्रिस्ट एस्पेशली टू श्यामानंद नरोत्तम एंड श्रीनिवास आचार्य ही वॉज दी ऑलमोस्ट वेरी राइजिंग लैंडेड पर्सन एट दैट टाइम टू एस्टैब्लिश रोकूशन रोड सो मेनी कमेंट्रीज बिकॉज ही ऑलवेज विथ रूपूशन तो ये डेट ये ग्रुप नवजीव गोस्वामी एंड आई थिंक दैट ऑल हिज बुक्स वेर गोइंग टाइम वेर लॉस सो माधव महाराज में स्पीक इन प्रीक हिज लाइफ not so much because time is short you should be you should carefully hear and try to keep all in your heart and practice like jesus ओम अध्याम तीरंध सुगनांजन सलाकय चक्षुर्मित तस्म श्री गुरव नम शंखापूर्वकनाम गानन कालावसानी कृत निद्राहार विहार कालीत चंत दिनौ चजु राधा कृष्ण गुण स्मृत मधुनिवनंदे संमोहित वंदे रूपसनातनु रघुजुग श्रीजुगोपाल हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो टूडेज डिसअपियरेंस डे ऑफ श्री अजीत गोस्वामी का श्री गुरुदेव इज ऑर्डर्ड मी टू डिस्कस अबाउट हिज लाइफ हिस्ट्री श्री अजीत गोस्वामी पाद यू वॉज डिसाइपल ऑफ श्री अरूप गोस्वामी पाद Sila Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami. Also blood related. Yes, blood related. This word and that transcendental word. <laughs> so when he was young, he used to serve Rupa Goswami, and Rupa Goswami has ordered him to correct his literature. So now in Kerala we come in our mind. Sila Rupa Goswami pad in one hand. Eternal associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as Mahaprabhu's roop, and other hand, eternal associates of Divine Kapil as Roop Manjari. Is there any fault in the literature? How is it possible? And why Roop Goswami Pad ordered him to correct the literature? How we can reconcile this? Sir so Roop Goswami, why is to write? He absorb in his mood. Then he forget that his grammatical is correct or not. So, Jeev Goswami will correct that grammatical thing, not his mood. So, when he was writing, I will tell about uh, Guru Bhakti Guru Nishtha in him. Then the Bhakti Jeev Goswami. So, first is Guru Nishtha. 
So Guru Nishtha is the backbone of bhajan. So Jiva Goswami taught us in his life history. So once Rupa Goswami was writing Bhukti Rasam with Sindhu, the meantime, one very learned scholar of India named Ballavacharya came to Rupa Goswami and he was older than Rupa Goswami because he may be he was older also than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yes. He is even older than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he took group, um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his birthplace near Prayag, Alayil Gram. And Rupa Goswami also there with Mahaprabhu at that time. So when he came with Lavan, and did his darshan, he met with Rupa Goswami and told Rupa, what are you writing at the now at present time? I want to correct your literature. Rupa Goswami, the embodiment of humility. Oh yes, it's my good fortune. So after that, he went to Jamuna for taking bath. Jiva Goswami, he was so much nista of his Gurudev, he could not tolerate, tolerate this thing. What? He want to correct my Gurudev's literature? What kind of human being is this? He could not tolerate this. So he make a trace. Oh, there is no water, I have to go to bring water from Jamuna. In this pretend, he took a water pitcher and went to Jamuna. And he asked, he paid respect him and asked, Oh, you want to correct my Gurudev's literature? Oh, Prabhu. Oh Prabhu, you told that you want to correct Srila Rupa Goswami's literature. What point do you have seen there? Then you want to correct that thing? Then Bhagavacharya told, yes, I have seen in his literature, Bhukti Mukti Spriha Javat, Pisachi Hiri Bhartate, Tavad Bhakti Sukha Satra Kathamad Budayo Bhavet. Meaning of this work, the desire of bhukti and desire of mukti means, bhukti means to enjoy and mukti is liberation. When these two desire will be heart of a sadhak, then bhukti devi never manifest in sadhak's heart. So Balavachi told he compare bhukti and mukti like a witch. How is possible? Jeeva Goswami humbly replied, No, no, it's not compare bhukti and mukti with a witch. The desire of bhukti and desire of mukti is like a witch. If the desire of bhukti and mukti means liberation and to enjoy this desire will be in our heart, then bhakti that will be far away from our heart. So, the desire of bhukti and mukti like a which they can swallow us completely. Why not Bhukti? Uh, why not Bhukti and Mukti? Not, why Guru Goswami not compare Bhukti and Mukti like a witch? Because Bhukti and Mukti, they are not witch. Why not? You are in Srimad Bhagavatam so many times. So, if someone receives Bhukti, Bhukti manifests somebody's heart, being costless merciful, then bhakti is to is thiratara bhagavad jadisya doivena phalati dipa kisavara murti mukti sarang mukulitan jali sevati asman dharmartha kama gatayo samaya pratiksha if bhakti that will manifest in somebody's heart then mukti sarang mukulitan jali mukti devi she will fold it, she will fold his hand and Always be ready to get any permission from the devotee. Please engage me in service of your Prabhu. I am ready to service. So Mukti want to serve Bhagavan and want to help the devotee. And you have heard about the dialogue between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Srila Sarva Bhattacharya. They are also Mukti Padesha Dayabhar. He will be inheritant of mukti. Sarvabhar Bhattacharya could not tolerate this. 
कनी चेंज द भार से टोल भक्ति पदेश दायो भाग मगर नो नो इट इस कार्य के लिए भागवत भागवत इस बियों ने नहीं रहा नो एरेटाइज नीडेड देयर इन सो मेनी प्लेसेस मुक्ति इस जोड़ी फाइंग बाय इन सो मेनी अचार जोस एंड सिमल भागवतम सो मुक्ति देवी इस नॉट ए विच सो जीव गोस्वामी गिव सो मेनी गिव सो मेनी एग्जांपल एंड बल्लवाचल बिकेम स्पीचलेस व्हेन ही केम बैक एंड जीव गोस्वामी केम बैक व्हेन ही केम बैक एग्ज़ाम ही केम बैक टू रूप गोस्वामी एंड टोल्ड रूप हु इज़ दिस बॉय हु वाज़ फैनिंग यू देन रूप गोस्वामी अंडरस्ट� must be any direct according to Shastra. Rupa Goswami humbly replied, my nephew and disciple. After some time, the old learned person, person went away from there. Then Rupa Goswami called, Jeev, you could not tolerate this old Brahman, could not give you proper respect. Rupa Goswami not ask anything to him. Rupa Goswami understood and told, you go to his side. Go his direction. This two meaning of his direction. His direction means go to your previous village. This is like Purvasam. And Jim Purvasam took this. This means his direction of Braj. So he went to Nandaghat Bhaigao. And he lives in the hole of crocodile. Always weeping. Haru, Haru Sanatan, please be merciful on me. And stop eating, drinking everything. Day by day, he gets skinny, and so many itches come all over body. And Sanatan Goswami always move here and there in Braj, and he well known in whole Braj, Bara Baba. And all over Braj, they respect Sanatan Goswami so much. When Sanatan Goswami did his journey, Arrived that village, they told, Oh, Bala Baba, we have one Chota Baba also here in our village. He is so renounced. We name her in your whole life. Everyone is renounced than you also. Always only weeping, Haru, Ha Sanatan, please be merciful on me. And sometimes taking the name of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, sometimes taking the name of Divine Kapu, weeping and weeping only. Then Sanatan was saying, understood. This is not other than Jeev. Then Sanatana was asked, can you show me? Then they took Sanatana was Sami to Jeev was Sami. Sanatana was Sami brought him with him. And on one day, discussion was going on, Rupa Sami was giving discussion. Then Sanatana was Sami asked, what is the duty of a Vaishnava towards living entity means Jeeva? Then Rupa Sami told, be mercy towards living entity, means jiva. Here jiva means two meanings. Sanatana Goswami want to say, what is the duty of question about to this boy jiv? And Rupa Goswami is telling for all jiv. Then Sanatana Goswami told, Sanatana Goswami who was elder brother and guru of Srila Rupa Goswami. Then Sanatana Goswami told, if the duty of a question be merciful towards jiv, why you not be merciful this jeev? Then Sanatana Goswami brought jeev and put him in the lap of Rupa Goswami. And both Guru and sister began to weep bitterly. Rupa Goswami also was weeping and Jeev Goswami also was weeping. So here Jeev Goswami showed us that how Guru Nishtha was so strong in his heart. Heaven he could not tolerate any kind of defame of his Guru Dev. So we have to be strong enough have to take instruction from Jeev Goswami how to respect Gurudev, how to serve Gurudev. If anyone will defame our Gurudev, we shall cut the all arguments by our Shastriya Praman. If we could not do so, have to keep our put ear plug and take bath in Ganga, Jamuna, Roshan with full cloth. And if you are so powerful, then like Hanuman, he who won the whole Lanka. For this reason, Srila Vrindamanda Sthakur told, Ato pari hare jai pati ninda kare, tabe lathi marotar sire rupare. Hearing the glory of Nityananda Prabhu, 
even a sinner, yet criticize Nityananda Prabhu, I shall kick on his head. So we have to be so bold like Hanuman or Vilna Bandha Stakur, whoever criticizes our Gurudev, we shall cut their all arguments. And he, Gurudev should be very... And Gurudev must be very bona fide, not so called Gurudev. So now one inquiry may come in our mind, if Rupasam is bona fide Gurudev, he is second body of Srinivar Mahaprabhu, and Jivgasam is also eternal associate of Mahaprabhu and divine couple. There is no fault among between them. So if Jivgasam is correct, then other hand Rupasam must be wrong. If Rupasam is correct, then Jivgasam must be wrong. But wrong word is not in their dictionary, in their character. So how we can reconcile this? Srila Jiva Sami, he did, he act like a disciple, and Rupa Sami also act like a Gurudev. What Rupa Sami act, he has acted. He acted like a bona fide Gurudev, he was embodiment of humility, and Jiva Sami was also a very mature disciple, too much nista towards Gurudev, which he did, is also correct. So by this you have to reconcile. Another thing is Listen from Gurudev Jyotas Chaksurum zikam yena tozmai shri gurvei nama First I offer my unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my Paramaraja Tama Guru Pada Padma Nichirula Pravishta Om Vishnu Pada Stotra Sita Shri Srimad Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada And the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my Paramaraja Tama Guru Pada Padma Om Vishnu Pad, Astodhira Sita Shri Srimad Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj To all of our Guru Varga and all the assembled devotees Sri Jiva Goswami was described very poetically and beautifully by Srila Gurudev in a Mathura lecture in 1992 on this same disappearance day, anniversary He said that Jiva Goswami Establish the integrity of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mood, which he gave to all fortunate jivas, of Pariki Abhav, of the gopis, which was later on taught by Sri Rupa Goswami, by taking the river, the ever-flowing river of Ras, of Radha and Krishna's pastimes, and blocking all sides, both sides of the river with the very strong and powerful rocks of strong philosophical conclusions. In this way, he protected that river from the contamination of the water of misconceptions. Very beautifully put by our Srila Gurudev. You understand this thing, what she told? You? Not everything. You could not hurt? I do, Mr. Bhai. You realize what she said told? Yes. It's wrong. Many of them, they could not hurt. <laughs> so, Sri Sri Radha Krishna's pastimes are the highest conclusive truths and the ultimate goal <laughs> of all jivas, all fortunate jivas. These uh, pastimes of the Lord are misunderstood by our mundane vision and especially unscrupulous personalities take advantage of our shortcomings and teach the misconceptions far and wide. Jiva Goswami establish the uh, purity of Radha Krishna's pastimes 
by strong philosophy establishing how Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, how Radharani and the gopis are his own internal powers and potencies, shaktis. They are owned by him, so although it appeared that he was dancing with other persons' wives, actually all other persons' wives belong to Krishna, not the opposite. In order to help less intelligent people to come into Vaishnavism, who would otherwise misunderstand the Karamor pastimes of Radha and Krishna and the gopis, Sri Jiva Goswami appeared to have established Swaki above, or Radha and Krishna as a married couple. Because if they would uh, try to understand their karma relationship, then they would do then, 500 years ago, what they're doing now. They would say that this is mundane, and they would also imitate them, where you find men dressed as uh, women and having illicit relationships in the name of Paraki Bhav Sadhana, thinking that they'll get perfection, but actually they go to hell by lusty activities. Srila Gurudev explained in his Gurudev's biography that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was externally in a male form, but internally he was in the mood of a gopi. Whereas these personalities, they're um, externally dressed as a woman, as a gopi, but internally they have the male bhav, purusha bhav, of lusty feelings towards women, so by their activities they go to hell. Some people criticized Jiva Goswami and said that he was not following the principles of Sri Rupa Goswami, which is Paraki above, which is established by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur, who is accepted by Acharyas as the incarnation of Rupa Goswami, came and protected the integrity and established the integrity of Sri Jiva Goswami's teachings. As Sri Padmada Maharaj mentioned, it's the duty of the disciple to defend the bona fide spiritual master against all offenses and all attacks of misconceptions. Gurudev said, if somebody says, because one disciple or several disciples were thinking that if we say something or write something to defend Gurudev against other people who are um, blaspheming him, misunderstanding him, saying bad things about him, that he's not actually in Guru Prampara, actually we should love all Vaishnavas no matter what they say about our Guru. We should all chant Hare Krishna and love each other and be humble more than a blade of grass. But Gurudev said anyone who thinks like that, he said if somebody says your guru is engaged in sense gratification, what will you do, smile and show your teeth? If you yourself cannot defend your guru, then if you don't support someone who's defending your guru, then you're not my disciple. Rather, he said anyone who doesn't um, fulfill the manabhistya of his spiritual master and doesn't defend his Gurudev and proper Siddhanta, he's actually not a disciple, but he's a eunuch. Gurudev said that when someone said that the uh, Ratha Yatra established by his Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj, was not authorized to be done in Navadweep, Gurudev began writing our very strong articles against that offense to his Guru Maharaj. And then it created a great agitation on the other side, and they began writing articles. And these articles went on back and forth for a whole year, creating tremendous agitation. And Guru Dev again did that against the Sahajis who were misunderstanding the Lord's mood, that is Krishna's mood, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mood, and the mood of his associates, because Guru Dev wrote the book, Five Essential Essays, and distributed them freely. And Gurudev said again, that created a great tumultuous agitation. 
But this is the duty of the disciple to protect the integrity of the Guru Parampara. So Jiva Goswami, in order to bring in those who would misunderstand the Lord's pastimes, he, and only he could have brilliantly done that, established Swaki above in Radha Krishna mood, which is that they are a married couple. So that people could gradually have faith that yes, they are bona fide and gradually come into Vaishnavism. But Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur explained that actually Jiva Goswami is the perfect follower of Srila Rupa Goswami because he's not really saying Swaki above. What does Swa mean? Swa means own. It means um, married, but it also means own, of his own. Radha and the gopis are Krishna's own internal potency. They're non different from him. And Parakya, Para, they are Parashakti. Srimati Radhika is the embodiment of Parashakti, Krishna's supreme transcendental power, which, as Sri Jiva Goswami himself explains in Tattva Sandarbha, that by his own desire, Krishna's Parashakti, his supreme transcendental energy, manifests the absolute truth that supreme Sri Krishna in four features. She manifests his own Swarup, um, Swayam Bhagavan, his own original form is Krishna, his type by Baba Roop, that is all of his expansions beginning from Sri Baladevji, all of his abodes, all of his associates, his um, Jiva Vivanansa potency, us, the living entities, and also Pradhan, his material energies. So, Srimati Radhika is Krishna's Pada Tattva, sorry, Pada Shakti. And so she is, her relationship is in Pada Kiya. She's not any others. Pada also means others. But she's not any others. She's Krishna's supreme potency, Krishna's own potency. And therefore, Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur explains that really Srila Jiva Goswami is saying that Swaki above and Paraki above both exist harmoniously and beautifully in the Supreme Lord of Gokula in Goloka Vrindavan. There are many accusations of Sri Jiva Goswami against him and our Srila Prabhupada, who is also his defender, explains some of these in his Chaitanya Charitamrita purports. That is another incident where Jiva Goswami defended Srila Rupa Goswami and Srila Sanatan Goswami was when some wandering Digvijay went to Rupa and Sanatan and said, I am challenging you to a debate in philosophy and if you are defeated by me, then you should sign a statement that I'll be able to show to everyone that I've defeated you. So rather than waste their time, because no one wants to waste their time in arguing with someone who won't accept good arguments and agree to be defeated if his opponent has better arguments, so rather than waste their time, they immediately sign the paper. Yes, we are defeated by you. When Srila Jiva Goswami found out about this, he told that person, first you defeat the disciple, and then we'll see if you've actually defeated the master. So, Jiva Goswami is accused of not being humble. But as Srila Gurudev just explained, it's the duty of the guru to be very humble, but it's the, guru, uh, the duty of the disciple to not tolerate any offense to his bona fide Gurudev. So actually Jiva Goswami was being the perfect disciple by defending his Gurudev. And he wrote, he's known as the greatest scholar of his time, as Gurudev just mentioned. 
Despite, it's normal, it's normal for bona fide acharyas to be accused of so many things. Like Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur, there was an attempted murder against him, murder of him, because when they threatened, when the, um, what do you call those uh, Brahmins? Smart Brahmins challenged him that if you don't stop preaching, Raghunuga Bhakti, then we're going to have to do something. So he didn't stop, and so they tried to murder him. They found him, they looked for him and searched, searched everywhere where he was doing his bhajan in Vrindavan, very early in the Brahma Mahorta time of the morning. And they thought, they saw, thought that they saw him entering into some kunj. So they went in there and they didn't see him anymore, but they saw a very young, beautiful Kishori girl, teenager, 12 and a half years old. And they asked, she was just picking flowers, and they asked, have you seen a sadhu around? And she said, yes, I saw him for some time, but then I think he went in that direction. So they went in that direction, but then they looked back towards the beautiful Kishori, and they saw that she was actually Viswanath Chakravarti Thakur. So they immediately surrendered to him and became his disciples and preached on his behalf. So the, uh, the next Acharyas are always defending the previous Acharyas. So Srila Jiva Goswami also was accused and he was accused that Sri Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami, the author of Chaitanya Charitamrita, showed his unpublished manuscript to Jiva Goswami, and Jiva Goswami became very furious that, oh, now he will be known as a greater scholar than myself. So he took his Chaitanya Charitamrita manuscript and threw it in a well. So Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami became so shocked that he immediately died. But some man named Mukunda had an extra copy and that's how it got published. So it's normal that the Acharyas, the great Acharyas, will be accused of so many things. Why? Because bhakti is not easy. It's very, very difficult and rare to come to bhakti. So the pure devotees, the acharyas, are. Hmm? Telling about? This is false allegation. Yes, our Prabhupada is saying this is a false allegation. So no need of. So my only point was that our Srila Prabhupada was saying how this is a false allegation. Very short. Very. Okay. <laughs> okay. Corporate and the other. People come, we are very hankering of making so many disciples. Oh, disciples, disciples, disciples. Even by hmm, spending so much money, making so many balabs, agents. agents. That if you bring five disciples, I will pay so much. <laughs> now we are days going more. But you Goswami, or any of the Goswami, six Goswami, Krishna Das Goswami. How many disciples? Srila Ravnath Das Goswami, Srila Sanatana Goswami, Rup Goswami, Ravnath Bhatta. Sri Nathi Ji Goswami has no disciple at all. But whole world is a disciple. Shamananda Prabhu came, but he was initiated by any good. But Narottam Thakur and Srinivas were not initiated by anyone. They came in the center of Ji Goswami. Jiva Goswami, oh, he taught them 
all the shastras, Vedic Upanishad shastra, everything, all the thoughts. They wanted to be initiated by Jiva Goswami, but Jiva Goswami refused and told that, oh, there are so many elevated Vaishnava more than me, oh, please you should go to Lokta. And you should go to Gopal Pratibhusha. They were, they were not intended to go to them. They wanted that you are my you. And they had accepted him like you. But yet they followed the instructions of Siddha Jibhushan. Then Narottam Thakur went to Loknath Prabhu. And Went to go on for solution. You see that oh, Loknath Goswami, he refused to give initiation. But for so many years perhaps he waited and he even cleared this tool of you know, Loknath Goswami in night. Then Loknath Goswami was bound to give him. Similarly, Gopal Bhatt never made any disciple. But, oh, by the request of Siddhaji Goswami, he accepted only one disciple, like And they, and they, they, they two and three. Oh, they went to take home and collected thousands and thousands of Why? In the same way, like Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddham Saraswati Goswami and his Gurudev. His Gurudev was Srila He never accepted any disciple. Only by the special request of Srila Bhakti and he saw he is also hard, that if I am not initiating, he will talk. So he was bound to give initiation, bound. Guru was bound. bound. And he gave initiation. But, oh, accept him, no initiation to anyone. And he is that disciple, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati, what he did? Miracle. Oh, whole Bengal, whole India, and after that, all world is a But who is more uh, merciful, guru or disciple? We cannot <laughs> We cannot But we see that, that disciples are more merciful than guru. Why? We see. For us, I am telling you, not for others. You know that Sri Lopnath Goswami told to Nathan, Oh, you are not qualified, you should go. At once to you, yes, I don't lie. A disciple like you, you have no faith in Krishna name. Krishna name is himself. He has manifested his all power, all beauty, all appellances in his name. Then he is more powerful than Krishna himself. So you are not faith in this. If you are doing bhajan and if a person is coming thirsty and he wants water, he wanted water from Guru, Lokna. And he was chanting. Oh, he was upset. But when he went to Naruttam Sadhu, or boy, baby Sadhu, oh, he took some water and gave. And then Loknath said, Oh, you should return back to your home. And then drink water. Always doing these things. Then, it was who? 
a strong personality that he went. But he followed his Guru instructions. And he did thousand and thousand of disciples. So who is merciful? In our oh, I think that Narottam Thakur is more more merciful. Though Loknath Goswami is also Manjari, Narottam Thakur is also Manjari. But it seems oh, he is more merciful that he has mercy for all. Oh. But in some way we can see that Loknath Goswami. So there are so many things. A.G. Goswami has not made uh, Shasti, Shasandar, Shasandar, If he had not written Gopancha, if he had not explained commentaries of Ujvalin, Bhakti, Goswami, Sindhu, and so many books. Oh, we could not have known Goswami mercy. So today we are offering our obedience as the lotus of Jiva Goswami. That we should serve our Guru they like him. We serve the Lord Goswami. And in any manifested Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Radha Krishna, both but where he is there to be, like, but he should sprinkle his mercy that we should, we can glorify him, Sri Rajiv Goswami. I wanted to, there is something about bhajan, arahasya, written by Sila, something like that. So the Bhakti Manav Thakur is called Patmanjari, Kamala Manjari. How he used to do bhajan? At the time of he was magistrate officer. <coughs> In that time, in court, after court he had to write his judgments. Twenty books he wrote in night, taking something very light and sleeping at about nine and ten. Woke up in the early or at twelve or one. Do so many things. Bhajan as a gopi, arti a gopi, always remembering Ashtakaliya Leela, <coughs> totally observed in that. And in the morning again, writing judgments and. And at that time he has written so many more than hundred books. Hundred books in so many languages, even in English. <coughs> so, Jaiva Dharma Hanta is highest in the Tattva. But I consider myself O Bhajan Rahasyam Bhūti Faye Father Abul Faras has written for us. This is a treasure, treasure for us. So I began eating where? In food, Jagannath Puri or Kati Only I finished two chapters, but not fully, not fully, but I think. And that all, he divided our bhajan in eight Process. Like Krishna, pastimes are divided into eight, 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 eight,
अष्टी लीला सिमिलर विधि डिवाइड और भजन इंटू एट पार्ट मॉर्निंग निशान वट इज निशान एंड ऑफ नाइट मुहूर्त मॉर्निंग देन पूर्वान्ह एंड देन मिड डे देन पूर्वान्ह 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 एंड देन सायान्ह एंड देन इवनिंग एंड देन मिड नाइट एट पॉइंट और भजन इज लाइक दैट हर्ष पार्ट ऑफ आवर भजन इज वर्क साधु श्रद्धा इन साधु संग हाउ श्रद्धा बिगिन इन साधु संग दैट इज एक्सप्लेन that we who are we we are eternal servant of the krishna and you must serve krishna you must charm don't have any worldly desire don't engage yourself in worldly sense gratifications krishna is very powerful He has invested his all powers in his holy name, holy name, Sravanam, Kirtanam, in all nine or sixty-four kinds of offer. All are very powerful. You will be happy. You can't be happy by. Collecting so many things for your sense gratification, especially money, 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 and money. <laughs> It can. Oh, money will give you danger in life. Don't go. Money cannot give you happiness. And come and reach in your life. If you have money, anyhow you can make it for the level for bhakti. But don't want money. If money goes, then pray to Krishna that oh, you are very fortunate, merciful that you everything you have taken and made me. Is it fair? Like this, and then oh, like Sri Vas Pandey. Take some majira and hari bol, hari bol, hari bol. If he did like man, my brother, what you are doing? You are doing nothing. How you will maintain your life, your life and your family life? Then he told you, man. What is this? One, two, three. <laughs> Then he told, oh. "We are chanting and doing kirtan. All brothers, four brothers, no marriage. Four brothers were brothers. Then, oh, we have family. So, if not, we cannot do any maintenance." We will fast for one day, and then first, oh, second also. Second day we will watch, and third day also. But if fourth day no nothing, we will jump in. Okay. <laughs> Mahaprabhu told, "Oh, Lakshmi can take anything." Lakshmi, what is the purpose? But it will have not to be. I will yes. carry all the paraphernalia for you. 
person. And he did. So we should also know the object of life is happiness. But what kind of happiness? By serving Krishna. By practicing bhakti yoga. And if you are not doing, you are nonsense. <laughs> Prabhupada, you uh, Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami. Oh, rashkas. <laughs> I I cannot tell like you. <laughs> but you can think what he told that I am rash. <laughs> Always engaged in money. Vaishnava has come to your house from India and you have no time at all to hear. What it is? What is it? Ah, I will not tell. <laughs> so, by all Harikatha, at once he has a strong belief and get something separated. And this is called Sarva. I have explained all this. <coughs> but you should remember one thing. If Sarva is there, you have it. And Sarva is really in your heart. But no sadhu sang, then what will we be? The Sarva will go very soon because you are not so when you will come in our stage, even Sannyas will not tell you. Sannyas will. In our will not. So many Sannyasis have fallen. But anyone coming in our stage, then Bhakti may say. Like Hajar Thakur, what he told? If anyone will kill us, murder me, okay. even I will not to stop chanting Krishna. Now, that so many are asking. They have taken diksha also, second initiation. And they are asking Guru I have so many problems, I have no money. So they stop chanting, chanting and uh, serving deities and what to do. I can maintain. Please allow me not to chant and not to serve deities and everything. I replied, Oh, I cannot. I cannot approve this. I can allow it. Allow. Never, never. You should try, but I cannot <laughs> allow you to stop chanting and even one round you should go on going. Even if not mala, but you should do. You should serve the deities that you are serving. What? But I will not allow. So, we have discussed all these things. I wanted to discuss. So, we will discuss something. Today is perhaps a drama play. After that, oh, have a Kirtan, good Kirtan. And drama play, you should. I want to stay ready and go. Raman, very very good. All glory to Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu floated all day and night in an ocean of separation from Krishna. During a night of the autumn season, when a full moon brightened everything. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wandered all night long with his devotees. He walked from garden to garden, seeing the pastimes of Lord Krishna, and hearing and reciting songs and verses concerning the Raswila. He sang and danced in ecstatic love, and sometimes imitated the Ras dance in emotional ecstasy. He sometimes ran here and there in the madness of ecstasy, and sometimes fell and rolled on the ground. Sometimes he became completely unconscious. When he heard Saruk Damodar recite a verse concerning the Rasa Leela, or he himself recited one, he would personally explain it as he had previously done. In this way, he explained the meaning of all the verses concerning the Rasa Leela. 
Sometimes he would be very sad and sometimes very happy. Thus all the verses about the Rasa Lila dance were recited. Then finally the verse concerning the pastime in the water was recited. As an independent leader amongst elephants, enters the water with his female elephants, Krishna, who is transcendental to Vedic principles of morality, entered the water of the Jamuna with the gopis. His chest had, brung, had brushed against their breasts, crushing his flower garland and covering it with red kumkum. Attracted by the fragrance of the garland, bungling bees followed Krishna like celestial beings of Gandharva Loka. In this way, Lord Krishna mitigated the fatigue of the Rasadhan. Where's the, where's the Lord going? Has he gone? Kuranga. Maybe he's going to the Gandhija temple. Or Lake Narendra. Has he fallen into some, fallen down in ecstasy in some garden? Maybe to Chitaka Parvat there, or to the Konak temple. We should search for the Lord, Garanga. Ha! Ha Garanga! Ha Garanga! Chalo! <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's wandering near the temple of Aishata. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu suddenly saw the sea. Brightened by the shining light of the moon, the high waves of the sea glittered like the waters of the river Jamuna. Mistaking the sea for the Jamuna, the Lord ran swiftly and jumped into the water. He lost consciousness and could not understand where he was. Sometimes he was beneath the waves, and sometimes he floated above them. The waves carried him here and there like a piece of dry wood. Who can understand this dramatic performance by Chi Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Keeping the Lord sometimes submerged and sometimes afloat, the waves carried him toward the Karnaka temple. Lord Krishna performed pastime with the gopis in the water of the Jamuna, and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu fully merged into those pastimes. At the same time, a fisherman was casting his net. Oh, the singer Dave. Oh, the singer Dave. Oh, that was a big wave. Whoa. in the night, casting my net, trying to catch fish over again to feed my family. Oh, this seemed a day. Oh, is that a ghost? But oh. ghost, they cannot catch me because I remembered Bhagawan the singer. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, looks like I got something. Oh, I got <laughs> oh, 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 it's so big! Oh boy! It's such a big fish! I'll feed my family for weeks! Oh, I must try a little harder! Oh, oh no! It's a dead body! Oh my god! No! How do I get this? Oh. Ah!
Where has the Lord gone? It's been all night. He has disappeared. I feel like I've, I've lost my very life. Oh, look. We're at the ocean. Oh, we should split up now. Very good. You go to Chadak Parvat. We will continue going east. And look on the Lord. Look for the Lord on the beach and in the water. Why are you acting like this? Have you seen someone here? Why is your behavior like this? I have not seen a single person. Hobby, hobby. <laughs> but while casting my net this evening, I caught a dead body. Hobby, 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 hobby. Hobby, hobby, hobby. Hobby, 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 hobby. Hobby, 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 hobby. Hobby, 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 hobby. Hobby, 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 Hurry, hurry, hurry. Is that a corpse in your net? Oh, yes! When I saw this corpse, I 